They deserve a raise. That's the word tonight from a group asked with figuring out whether the governor, the lieutenant governor, the AG, Secretary of State, and all of the Michigan Supreme Court justices are competitively paid. We bring in Mara McDonald, who's been asking tonight if you think they deserve more dollars, Mara. <laughs> Well, Devin, I'll tell you, the overwhelming reaction was not one of generosity. Take a look. Is Governor Snyder in need of something? I mean, he is not a poor man. Not a lot of interest or sympathy for our top state elected officials tonight when asked whether the governor, the lieutenant governor, the attorney general, and the secretary of state should get raises along with the Michigan Supreme Court. The answer was usually a big old no. Because the raise is coming from working Americans who work hard and many Americans are unable to put food on the table for themselves. So therefore, why should they get a raise? Here's the rundown of what everybody is getting right now and what the recommendation is from the elected officials compensation commission. Those raises would restore those positions to their 2010 salary levels. The Supreme Court is different though. Michigan's justices haven't had a raise in 17 years, and with vacancies coming up on the court, the concern is without a pay bump, bright legal minds won't be interested in the job because they'll get paid vastly more in private practice. At some point, you have to get quality for what you're for the job that goes. So, I think I, why not give them a, give them a raise? I think that would attract more people to the job. In other words, you get what you pay for. Joyce Ross, though, still isn't buying it. Sorry. Not feeling generous, not feeling like no. a raise is coming their way. No, uh-uh, and I vote. Back here live, important to point out that none of these elected officials are asking for a raise. This is something that the commission studies and comes up with a recommendation. A recommendation that has to be voted on by the state legislature, and that is always a tough sell. Devin Kimberly. Back to you. And since you brought them up, it has been even longer since state legislators have had a raise, I believe. Uh, I don't know if it's longer, Devin. I think they they got the same 10% decrease back in 2010 that the top, uh, the well. governor, LG, and everybody else got. Um, but the Elected Officials Compensation Commission did not make any recommendations as far as the state legislature goes. Uh, there's a lot of talk, as you know, in Lansing about potentially making yeah. it a part-time legislature right. or going that way.